I uh, went to Texas years ago to a town called Waxahachie. Anybody from there? See? <clears throat> you always think there are worse things. Um, it's a very picturesque area, Waxahachie, and there's an amazing courthouse that was fashioned um, out of sandstone. And um, uh, a carver came and uh, uh, carved uh, beautiful uh, images of one of the favored daughters of the town whom he fell in love with. Um, but, you know, things happen. And uh, uh, fortunately, uh, the chronicle of his relationship is left there in the courthouse mainly because the people of the town um, didn't have the money to redo the statuary. <laughs> this is called Courthouse Steps. To say no more of art than that it makes by its very distraction a mode of abiding. Accordingly, its variations, each type of thread and piecework named double engagement ring, log cabin, or broken dishes, all built on the same geometric figures, precise interception of angle and line. So too, each tale of love is rooted in that first tale, the poet descending to the underworld, finally granted his shade, who will follow him, only to disappear again. Perhaps one version has them reunite, affixed in their solo chromospheres the stars, which, to the human eye, appear to overlap. Substanceless love, immune at last to gravity, and time. In Texas, I might as well recount this as a story. There's a town with a courthouse built on concrete and twisted iron, edified in red granite, capitals and architrave of red sandstone. With point and punch, a carver broached the effigy of his muse. He rendered her attractive features down to the very blush. Of course, she spurned him. Of course, there was another to whom she turned. Love should not be written in stone, but written in water. I paraphrase the Latin of Catullus. The sculptor carried on, not just the face of his beloved, but the face of her other lover, snaggletoothed, wart-peppered, pudgy, them both made into ugly caricatures of themselves, as wanton as the carver perceived them, and as lewd. Well, craze and degenerate and crack, the portraits hold though long since the participants have dwindled into dirt. Beautiful, unbeautiful, each with an aspect of exactness. Tread light upon this pedestal. Dream instead of a time before your love disfigured, a time withstanding, even, crass, wind-beaten time itself.